<laughs> Hello there, Cancerian. Happy holidays to you. Much love. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I do hope you are well. I wish the rest of your holiday season is filled with joy, love, feelings of prosperity and well-being. All right. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for hitting the like button, for sharing the videos with those you love and for being a subscriber. If you have not yet subscribed, do hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let us get into your messages. I feel like you want to be financially free and abundant, independent, confident, clear, all of that. Just wealth, vibration, millionaire status, especially in mind and in feeling when it comes to freedom. What you aspire for is your financial freedom. And I think it is very possible for you. You have what it takes, either that is the will, the creativity, the drive, the courage, the experience to get through anything at all. Especially you have, you have um, great visions and dreams, so you do have what it takes to become this um, millionaire that you want to. There are some lessons for you to learn too, especially when it comes to giving. You have a giving heart. So I encourage you, as well the cards do, to invest more in things that will that will promote this financial well-being. So invest in real estate, invest in your creative ideas, invest in your mindset, your vision. Um, I feel like you in this season you should spend less than you make than you um than you receive, you know what I mean? So save twice as much as you spend for real life. Look at the four of pentacles here, you're saving, holding on to some investments here and over here you're holding on to more than you are releasing twice as much so really keep um holding on to your finances so that you can invest them in yourself or in something that's going to build wealth i feel like you're going to be learning um discipline when it comes to spending you're going to be learning about investments about starting businesses and so on and so forth this is going to cause you to be in a wealth mindset a wealth vibration because, you know, wealthy people are disciplined and focused. And this is how you're going to have to become. You can learn how to give gifts without spending. Give from a place of love, a true space of love. Um, You may give plants or something that you cook or you just give love or blessings, okay? But I really urge you to become self-empowered to really hold on to or just spend wisely. Invest in yourself and your visions. Right, so um, use proper judgment and your discernment when spending your or handling your money. All right, then this is going to make you successful or get you closer and closer to that millionaire vibration. Learn more. Okay, you can always learn more. I feel like you're good with money. So I feel like you can learn more about, as I said, investments, okay? And uh, don't spend all of your money and don't give it all away. No, that's how I feel for you. And that's going to be very important. Uh, I feel like you're also leaving behind the feelings of victimization or not being in your power. And even this exercise to becoming wealthier or you know, saving, all of that budgeting, planning, investing, it's going to make you feel more empowered as an individual. You know, disciplined, have a vision. It's going to even make you more radiant, more attractive because your mindset is also developing in this process. So you are sitting in the King of Cups energy here, which I feel like you are... You know that you can do this. 
you're almost like you're ready. You're ready now. It's like someone deciding to go back to school, deciding to back to go back to college for any particular reason. Um, because you you have a per, um a particular goal that you're working on, so it feels like you are ready you now to start this journey. You're confident with the King of Cups energy. I feel like you're listening now, like you're ready to listen, to pay attention. You're ready to learn. Okay. And it's also, I feel like you're ready to learn about wealth. You're ready to learn about money. Like you're ready to learn about your money. Like you're open to learning. And that's nice to, to know here with the King of Cups vibration. Because mm -hmm. I feel like you may have been in resistance before. But you're open now, spiritually. Your heart is open for the Ace of Cups. Maybe you found you found a greater reason to have this vision of wealth and um, like fortune you found a greater purpose and it has come through love i feel that inspires you to want wealth so i feel you're going after your dreams and you do have what it takes it's really beautiful to see two kings here on the board and how you're going to turn yourself around from being in a victim mindset to becoming empowered step by step with each decision that you make in your spending habits and especially how you think of yourself when it comes to giving and receiving then we have see you have what it takes the seven of wands energy here I feel like you feel more confident, more clear in your intuition about what you want to achieve because you've been investing in yourself, in your self-love, you know? So it's a beautiful pull, like magnetism. It's almost like you're so grounded and solid. You're not easily swayed. And that is power, a powerful place to be spiritually yeah 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 so i feel like you're you're spiritually grounded divinely guided on this journey i feel like you know you have abundance of love to give to share as if you know the source of your love and is unending cannot be taken or given and so i feel like you want to you travel this earth and just spread love it's like santa claus vibration really like being that fat full of love overflowing and want to just give your heart to others that may be what inspires your ideal or your goal or aspiration for wealth and when i talk wealth i mean you want millions that's how much wealth you want to acquire but like i say beautiful it is attainable it is achievable by you you can because you have the discipline, you have the, the stability, the energy, the eagerness to get there. And you also have the stamina. You also have the, like I say, you know how to hold out when you don't have. You've been through a lot. So discipline, like you know how to eat ramen noodle, whatever, you know, when it comes to investing and budgeting, you can do that. You're very grounded. You can do it. And also because your mind is open to learning new things, learning about money, about investments, listening to others, socializing, grouping, getting yourself around people that are going to help to guide you to where you need to be. Especially, I feel, guide you to a place where you can put your money, maybe how you can start a business, start earning, start having income, just to self um empowerment it is bringing out the best in you and it's a beautiful journey for you and and i want to say just watch how it grows look at the cards you even against naysayers or disbelievers or just whatever the environment that you're in looks like i feel like you're going to find yourself on top of it out of it clear you're gonna make it through you know like i feel like you're gonna rise up and find a way that's how i feel it's going to be 
a beautiful um, outcome I feel for you I feel like in your environment you could be the odd one out as if you're fighting against the odds or you're standing up against the odds or you're beating the odds and it's taking a lot of your courage really and it's really taking you to be really grounded spiritually and that is where most of your power is your spiritual groundedness your guidance your intuition your devotion maybe to follow your heart you know you do hope to be victorious and successful i feel like you will in your determination for success when it comes to this as this financial abundance that you want to achieve i hear sharpness deliberation or deliberateness maybe a battle upcoming could be something in court legal So you could be f going to going to court i don't know roadblocks are a test of strength fiat willpower roadblocks develops your willpower your mental strength I feel like whenever you come up or if ever one comes up on one of these roadblocks it is a great challenge but I feel like you have what it takes to overcome completely and this is the next step to your ultimate wealth your financial freedom do you know or do you believe that you have the right to it if a challenge comes along that's going to try to take it out of your hands how are you going to defend it being militant clear knowing the law knowing your rights the rules that govern the land speak your truth speak it clearly declare over your path who you are it's this beautiful king that does not take talk from any other kings in the land you know he's not a crowd pleaser this king of pent this king of swords he has a mind of his own so sometimes you are being told no to something, but you're meant to bend the rules or to break them or destroy them completely, dismantle them. You know, so change and ideas. So I feel like that's what you're going up against. That's why you came prepared even as the king, spiritually grounded as the king of cups. And your vision ultimately is the king of pentacles you have what it takes to succeed i encourage you to meditate i applaud you for investing in your well-being um and for being an individual i feel like meditation is what has gotten you to become spiritually sturdy to trust in your heart to listen to spiritual guidance, to surrender, or to know when and how to surrender, and when not to. I feel like you've been surrendering to the divine a lot. And because you've been surrendering so much, when it comes time for you to be empowered, you know, to stand up for what you believe in, or to have that willpower, that determination, you're going to be represented in that energy so powerfully. It's almost like you've been keeping all this power on reserve and just really surrendering all along, taking it easy. But when it's really time to blast the power up, Kamehameha, to stand in your strength, 
it's gonna come out and shine and i feel like well you are gonna shine and i feel like this accomplishment is not just for you it's for or this breakthrough is not just for you you're not just paving away for yourself and i mean you may start studying law like i was saying earlier in the reading i feel like you're gonna start looking into finances but you may look into law as well um I was getting the energy of something grand because you're not going to be using it only for you. You're going to be breaking a barrier for many people, like globally, like breaking a spell even with the king of swords vibration. You know, a wrongful like judgment that has been a rule that doesn't really make any sense, but it inhibits people from going after their dreams or to dreaming for takes them uh, keeps them from dreaming big it could be self-expression as well in the way people express themselves courage um believing in what they deserve you know i feel like you're going to be showing people that listen something has been taken from you you should speak up so i feel like you're going to also be helping a lot of people to arise and awaken and to become to awaken to their or to awaken their vibration of wealth so that they too will have something to be a part of and to support and to have a, a meaning to their light, a purpose, a collective energy coming together so beautifully out of love too. You see the Ace of Cups that it's breaking a lot of spells and barriers and people are happy, I feel, happy, happy in heart, in heart space, opening heart, letting walls down, cancer. Um, okay, so that's what I have for you. Much love to you on your journey. If you found this message interesting or helpful, do hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe. All of your support is greatly and abundantly appreciated as always. You know, much love to you on this journey. I'll see you in the next time. In the next reading, remember that you can be, do have everything and if anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you. Even every, everyone around you, we are all one. We're all connected. Okay. Much love.